a shalom 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 first and foremost i would like to give all praises to the most high yahweh bahasham yahweh shai waharuka podash yahweh is the true name of the most high power yahweh shai is the true name of his only begotten son our redeemer and savior the one whom the world ignorantly calls jesus yeshua jehovah etc the Rukah Kodash is the Holy Spirit that gives us the understanding of this truth. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, GMS, who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this gospel in all sincerity in his last days. Shalom also to the few aquats who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the brother Yara Yaya Shar Allah from the GMS Italy camp. And I'm doing this lesson, you know, being inspired by the lesson that was put out by the Elder Yashawamba, I believe of the Dallas camp, in which, you know, the title of the lesson is, um, you know, Christian pastors huddle up concerning the Israelites. So, you know, watching this lesson, you see that these pastors, you know, they're getting worried because they're losing they're losing more members by the day you know more people are leaving the church by the day because people are finding out the truth you know the most high is you know is flooding the whole place with the truth you know the hebrew israelite thing is you know it's going rampant you know the truth is coming out and people are finding out that they've been giving heed to to, to fables and doctrines of men for all these years you know like i was you know i was once as I said, I was once a member of the Church of um, the Mormons, you know, and I never knew I was giving heed to, to some fables and some wicked doctrines, you know, that have nothing to do with the true doctrine, you know. And the Most High, you know, opened my eyes, you know, he gave me the understanding of this truth and I had to leave all quickly, you know. So these people are getting worried because, you know, Jake's are, are waking up which is the doing of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai, the dry bones, you know, that have been prophesied in the book of um, Ezekiel, you know, these dry bones are waking up, you know, they're coming back to their heritage, which is this truth, you know, knowing that they are the true Hebrew Israelites that's spoken of, because when you go to these churches, you know, you get nothing but, but, but myths and fables of men, you know, traditions of men that have nothing to do with the scriptures, they barely even break down any scriptures in the church, you know? So I'm just going to play a little of this video, you know, I'd advise everyone to go watch this video because it's very, very edifying. You know, the elder came up with lots of points, you know, I'll just play a little from where these people are actually speaking. So you can just listen a little bit and I'll tell you what my thought is. These great young men whom I've seen around the church, uh, great minds and uh, certainly are prepared academically and spiritually, I believe, to speak to what we're going to be talking about tonight. I would like a simple question and, and so on and so forth. Other religions like the Hebrew Israelites. That's what he's talking about. There's no other, nobody else, there's no other religion. Egyptology is looking at the Israel. If you all arrive, all you have, there's nothing to it. Then you go to you know, Great Mills. You're burnt up. Who need a message? Stop leaving. Trying to get to a point. Various different. Like they don't even want to be. It's 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 big. Amazing question, and you know I believe um, as we we look to move forward in the church, I think that's the very thing that is hindering us because the church itself comes off as a stagnant entity it is very stagnant that is absolutely true well anyway you know you should go watch this lesson you know the elder came out you know really heavy you know so as well as i was speaking as i was watching this his pastors are actually you know trying to figure out what they have to do to get the people come back to the church you know why why the people are leaving the church you know so you know you just the point the book of um Acts chapter 19 from the verse 20, 23 came to my mind, you know, 
and this is exactly what these people are actually doing but before i get that you know i'd like to speak on the book of jeremiah chapter 23 you know which quotes woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastures said the lord yahweh shemi al shai in which what these pastors they do is to scatter the sheep then you go to the church you know you don't get any truth from the church you become you become more of a demon in the church you know because in the church all they tell you is um oh believe in your heart believe in your heart and they call this this false name which is not the name of the true uh, of the of the son of the most high the son of the most high is yahweh shai they don't even know the name of god you know they call him jehovah they call him um all different kinds of names you know these people they don't have any knowledge of anything you know and they don't seek for anything you know they don't care because you know they took that bag you know they have um this license which is the 501 bracket c3 you know which is a tax exemption um license in which if you go deeper into that license you know anyone that partakes of that license needs to do according to the way the government wants you know according to how the the, the, the vatican wants you know you can't teach this um book the scriptures which is a historic book you can't teach it as history but you have to teach it like religion you know so if you go into these churches you know you get spiritually destroyed you know now the the the, the elder you know he mentioned that these people they are they are preparing you know to to celebrate christmas in which there is nothing like christmas in the scriptures you know which is a demonic you know a pagan a pagan um celebration you know but yet the churches they will tell you that the lord the lord was born on that day you know in which these are these are these are these are um these are myths from other traditions you know from the egyptian um sumerian tra traditions babylonians you know they worship their gods on uh, on the on the winter solstice you know and all this happened um i believe in 365 bc um ad sorry you know i don't want to butcher things up but just look up the the council of nicaea the first you know this is when they decided you know to take all religions and am amalgamate it with with christianity and they just they just actually took um they just took um the name of 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 their false deity jesus you know they just put it into into christianity and called it christianity they rebranded christianity and they, they presented a trinity in which we don't believe in a trinity you know we believe that we have the the, the, the god the father whose name is yahweh we have his son yahweh shai you know and there is no trinity man the holy spirit is the spirit that comes from the most high you know it's the spirit of truth you know it's the spirit that comes to you and gives you the understanding of this truth you know there is no trinity you know the most high is different from his son his son is the first is the firstborn you know which we have lots of lessons on this but these churches they teach all kinds of you know philosophies of death you know jeremiah 32 33 uh, 23 verse 2 he says therefore thus said the lord yahweh shem yahushai power of yashar allah against the pastors that feed my people ye have scattered my flocks and driven them away and have not visited them behold i will visit upon you the evil of your doings said the lord yahweh shem yahushai and this is what these pastors they've done you know many people go into the churches just like i said and they become more demons you know they become more wicked you know and now lately people are living in the churches people are becoming you know sorcerers um people are, people are even joining the churches of satan you know people are becoming muslims buddhists and people are becoming atheists just because of you know the confusion of these pastors in the church now i'm just going to skip down it says in verse 23 9 this is just to let you know that the most high yahweh shem yahushai is not happy with these pastors because all they care about is their money all they care about is their money and the reason why they're coming out you know to make all these speeches you know it's not because they care but it's because you know they're losing money man okay it's because they're losing money and they need to they need to find a way to demonize the truth you know 
so that they can people can go back to the churches but hey it's game over for you man <laughs> people are waking up the most like kalala yaba shimya shai people are living your these churches you know which are houses of 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 devils and demons you know now going back to the book of jeremiah you know he says my heart within me is broken because of the prophets all my bones shake i am i am like a drunken man and like a man whom wine has overcome because the lord yahaba shemiah shai and because of the words of his holiness for the land is full of adulterers for because of swearing the land monet the pleasant places of the wilderness are dried up and their course is evil and their force is not right and the elder was mentioning in the video that where are these people where is the vocab melon where are these people you know speaking about all the injustice that are happening in society today where are these pastors you know speaking about you know the wickedness you know the high level of wickedness that's going on in the society you know they don't come out and say that you know they are motivational speakers you know they, they, they motivate you oh don't worry everything will be happy everything will be okay and that you know these people are actually doing the bidding of the satan you know the adversary you know he says in verse 11 he says for both prophets and priests are profane yea in my house have i find their wickedness said the lord yahweh shemi shai and this is also to say that even in this hebrew israelite thing of ours you know there are many camps that are wicked you know they are just just like the christian churches you know camps like goc gocc you know that's just a little twist um of a christian branch you know these people are wicked you know they teach wicked doctrines you know camps like um I isupk you know iuic iuic you know they're trying a little bit but all these camps you know even sikari you know these camps are bringing division you know and they are all trying to scatter the flocks you know the most that you how about shimia Shah is not happy with these camps you know but they don't get it you know they don't get it you know it's all about you know fame and other things you know now we've seen through the years that you know different camps are also trying to you know to 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 have fame and other things like isupk you know they go into music sikari they do music video and all this thing so we know they are not 100 percent working for the most high yahaba hashem they are also working for their own private desires you know but those who have the spiritual spiritual um the spirit to discern you know those whom the most high have opened their eyes they are going to see through all this and they're going to recognize that the truth the 100 percent truth lies only but in great millstone gms you know and i'm not saying this because i'm a part of of, of great millstone these are observations i've made you know the most high how about shem shai opened my eyes because at the beginning i was seeing other other camps as well you know but once I started learning from, from the Great Millstone, I knew that, yes, this is where the truth is, you know. So he says, he says, Wherefore their ways shall be unto them as slippery ways in the darkness. They shall be driven on and fall therein. For I will bring evil, evil upon them, even the year of their visitation, said the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Shai. Can, you know, Yahweh Hashem Shai is coming with judgment. You know the the year of the year of their visitation is closed, man. You know, these people are losing sleep. All these religions are losing sleep because you know the Hebrew Israelite thing is you know is going you know is going way more than they can imagine. You know, which is the doing of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai. You know, now watching this lesson and you know hearing these pastors speak, you know, it and what they, sitting what, still. What, what, what they try to do is to speak in some slick ways, you know, throwing some some secret jabs, you know, trying to trying to, you know, demonize the Hebrew Israelite like a false religion, as if they have the right religions themselves. Now look at this man. Look at this from full grown men, you know. Look at them, you know, putting on ties. They don't even know what the tie represents. It represents a phallus. You know, because this is what they are all about. You know, they, 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 they lick Esau's boots, man. You know, all they care about is their money. You know, these are these are wolves, man. These are wolves. Now, this is what exactly came into my mind. The book of Acts.
Acts chapter 19. This is what came into my mind. And I hope through the spirit, you know, you can also see what this is, is. This is, you know. So I'm going to read from the book of Acts chapter 19, verse 23, which quotes, At the same time, there arose no small stir about that way. For a certain man named Demetrius, a silversmith, which made silver shrines for Diana, brought no small gain unto the craftsmen, whom he called together with the workman of... Let me go up. He says, whom he called together with the workmen of like occupations and said, Sir, ye know that by this craft we have our wealth. Moreover, ye see and hear that not alone at Ephesus, but almost throughout all Asia. This Paul had persuaded and turned away much people, saying that they be no gods which are made with hands. So that not only this our craft is in danger, but to be set at naught, but also the temple of the great goddess Diana should be despised, and her magnificence should be destroyed, whom all Asia and the world worship it. And when they heard these sayings, they were full of wrath and cried out, saying, Great is Diana of, Ephes of the Ephesians. So what happened here is, you know, this man came up, you know, after saying that Paul, Paul's teaching is going, you know, is going all, all different ways, just like, you know, the teaching of the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, you know, the, the, the teach, in general, the teaching of the Hebrew Israelites, you know, because it's tied all by all different, different men, you know, then coming down to different, different schools and different teachers, they, they, they split it, you know, but the main sense is, you know, this truth, you know. So when this truth came in, you know, people's eyes are getting to open. People started leaving churches. People started leaving um, different philosophies that they were moving before. And that's the same thing that happened. You know, Paul was teaching and his teaching, you know, this truth is so powerful. You know, it's cut it asunder, you know. So this truth started going and people started turning their backs against these deities, these demonic deities, the, the Diana, the goddess Diana. And people were no longer buying their their the smith that these craftsmen were making. So this man named Demetrius, he called other silversmiths and he told them that hey, see, this man is doing a lot, man, because you know our job is at risk, you know. Even our our doctrine is also at risk. We need to do something. And he stirred these people up against Paul, you know. And this is the same thing happening right here. <laughs> because this man. They are nothing but but smiths, you know. Because the doctrine that they, that they push out, you know, is doctrine of, of of men, you know. They teach about about the 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 what do they call it? The the virgin the virgin doct doctrine, which has nothing to do. It's speaking about other deities, you know. You know, our Lord Yahweh was born by a man and a woman. Okay, it was, it was of the seed of David, you know. They teach about some raptures which they don't even know where to start from. They are just all over the place. They teach about hell, hell doctrine. They teach a lot of philosophies that are different, you know. And now you, see, you can see them. They are gathered. This man right here is the one he actually gathered them up. And they are speaking on this just like, you know, Demetrius was doing. He's saying, hey, these Hebrew Israelites, you know, they're starting to, 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 to get, you know, these young men out of the church. What, what can we do? You know, so they're sitting, they're having a council on what they can do, you know. So these men, they are all, they are all, they are all working for the counterparts, you know. They're working for, for, for this, for these devils, you know. And, you know, <laughs> they're saying that the Most High is doing a great work, you know. It says at the end of the day, it's just roughly paraphrasing, you know, this truth shall flood, man. And people are coming out of this dead doctrines that these people have been teaching. We've all been captured by these people for a long time. And now the Most High is doing his work. He's gathering his elect from the four corners of the earth, you know. So, hey, no more business for these churches, you know. They're running out of business, you know. Sorry for y'all because you're running out of business. And, hey, destruction is coming close because if they don't change, if they don't repent of these wicked acts that they're doing, you know, of keeping the 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 um the people of the Most High Yahweh Shemiah Shai of keep, keeping them asleep, 
you know, keeping them under these wicked spells, you know, they're going to be destroyed. They're going to be destroyed. Okay. So, hey, this is what, this is what it is, man. You know, and hey, just let me add something else. You know, they call on the name um, Jesus in which that name comes from the Greek word Jesus, right? Okay. So now if you go and you check out there is a there is a demonic deity you know in which they sacrifice children to you know that the Celts actually worship they call him Jesus Oh what's this Jesus you can see they have the name Jesus right there behind these Edomites, you know, they just put things right at your front, you know, but people don't know the meaning, you know. They have a Zeus technology, which, you know, it, it, it's close to Esau, but now let's see Wiki. No, Jesus. Now let's go through this way, cause I was reading it. Just bear with me. Well, you know we 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 we're students of reality, as the apostle Gabal says. You know, GMS we search things out. You know, this is what it is. You know, we put into practice the second book of Timothy chapter 2 verse 16 which says you know roughly paraphrasing study to show thyself approved you know these christians don't do that you know they don't do that you know they just they just take down whatever you know wiki in which Why? Why are they, you know, why are they hiding this shit, man? Anyway, um, Black Mass history. Because, you know, that name is so, you know, I saw it and I was like, wow, why are they bringing out the movie, man? God. Well, anyway, I I probably would do another lesson on the issue, you know. So I probably would do another lesson because you know I found it on on the Wikipedia, but you know, Google is not bringing it out. That's why I don't like searching with Google. That's why I like searching with this doc. Now, if you see, if I put it here, they're going to come out with something else. Black mass. History. Hey, now check this out. I wrote the same thing on Google, and Google is bugging out, you know, trying to get me some movies, but right here, you know, it goes straight to the point, you know. So I already did a lesson, you know, on this, in which. You know, Black Mass actually goes back to Satanism. Um, in which you know that's the feast that they actually do in the church today you know the mass that they do in the church it all starts from from this and there is something i was looking for now let me put it like this jesus there you go search so you see it says Jesus, Jesus or Isus, was a Gaulish god known from two monumental statues and a lion in Lucan's Bellum Civile, you know. And if you go deep into this, you would see that they offer children's sacrifice to this Jesus or to this um to this deity, you know.
they offer children you know to this deity and that's it you know <laughs> there is a name there is a name called Jesus where you have the name Jesus coming from you know and now it's Jesus Jesus you know so well this these people you know they're losing it you know the most I call Yabashem Yahushai you know for opening our eyes you know these pastors have nothing on us anymore so to all those you know saints out there those jakes that are still going to church you know you all better come out because destruction is just right at the door you know set it straight you know understand what's going on you know these people are teaching doctrines of men and philosophies that don't, that's not going to save you philosophies that's going to lead you to death you know so having said all this i hope this lesson was edifying i'd like to give all praises to the most high yahweh bahasham Yahawashai Waharu Kakwadash Shalom.